In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a MIG gun liner in the Yes Welder MIG 250 Pro. Now this is to change the machine over so you can weld aluminum with MIG. So the first thing you need to do, as I'm showing in the video here, is if you already have solid core wire installed, you need to remove the old wire. And just be careful that when that comes out of that uh, guide there, you don't let go of it so you don't end up with some kind of a rat's nest. Then you just need a pair of pliers and you're going to pull this coiled piece of wire out of there. Now put it somewhere safe so when you get ready to switch back to solid core you've got it. Next we remove the MIG gun and the lead. So it's completely free from the machine and then we're going to lay this out in a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect, we just want it to be fairly straight. Now this is the tricky part. There's a little black C-clip holding this little tube in place and you're going to have to find some way to pry that C-clip off there without losing it and without destroying it. This in my, uh, my opinion is a drawback of this whole operation. So you can see I've got the C-clip here. It fell down and I was in the bottom of the uh, wire holder area and find a small wire or something to push that pin out out the front of the machine so that you can completely remove it and it has a c-clip on the front side too which does not need to be removed next we're going to take a wrench or something to remove the uh, brass nut so we can remove that. Be careful, there's an O-ring inside there. If you continue to just untwist it, it'll unscrew right off of there. That'll allow you to pull the old liner out of the lead. Now here's the package that came with the welder. It's the uh, graphene liner along with two contact tips for the MIG gun for two different sizes of wire. And it also has one of those little keepers on one end with an O-ring on it. And then the other end, we'll just start to feed that in where we took the old liner out. You want that cable as straight as possible. So this will go in as easily as possible. And just keep going until it hits the end. If you get a couple of rough spots, just keep pushing. You want to just make sure that you've got it all the way in there as far as it'll possibly go. So there I hit the end and I'm just pushing on it real hard just to make sure it's all the way in. And then we'll seat this little keeper here. Grab that brass nut, put it on the end of the new liner, and then we'll get that on there and tighten it down. Now we'll take that metal tube that we took out of the front of the machine where the torch connects and it just happens to be the exact length that you want to cut this tube off to. Now I cut it twice because I put it back in the machine and measured it just so I didn't cut too much and it was wrong so by the time I was done cutting it twice the actual total length came to exactly the same length as that piece of uh, tube that you took out of the machine. If you cut it that length the first time around, I think you'll be just where you want it to be. And then we'll put the gun back on the machine. You can see that Teflon liner coming through here. And you want it to come through that hole when the gun is totally seated. You want it to be just as close as you can get it to that wheel without touching. Now you can take the wheel off to help with that, but you probably need to replace it. We'll put the aluminum wheel on. You can see it has a U-shaped channel in it. Pick the size that you want facing toward the machine and insert the wheel. 
Something I didn't notice when I first put this machine into service was the uh, wheel for the wire feed has a little keeper key. And you need to really be careful when you replace the wheels on this machine that you get that keyway back where it's supposed to be and don't lose it. It should be underneath that wheel or the wheel will not grab on the shaft. Now this is just a piece of hard wire or solid wire. I don't have any aluminum wire, but just to show you how that threads through there and, and how that fits in the machine and what it looks like. Put the tensioner back in place. Make sure you have the correct size tip for the size of aluminum wire that you intend to weld with. Just a little snug with the pliers is all you need. And we'll put the gas nozzle on and you're ready to go. And that's how to change a MIG gun liner in the Yes Welder MIG 250 Pro machine. Now when you go to put this back for solid wire steel and you want to switch out these liners again, just take a pair of pliers to hold that little brass keeper and then you can just twist that off and you won't destroy that o-ring trying to get those two pieces apart. It's just something that I found out while I was working on this and trying to put it back together. That should help you out. And when you're going back on this Yes Welder MIG 250 Pro to the steel liner, the MIG torch liner for, for solid core steel wire, you got to put all these components back in and getting this little C-clip in there was no fun at all. I think that they could come up with a better design for this. Maybe just a set screw and a hole on the side of the machine where you could put a set screw in there and tighten it down to keep that little steel piece from moving back and forth. It was more work than I, I had hoped for. And hopefully someone out there has got this figured out a lot better than I do. They probably have a special tool that just reaches in there and clips these on there, but without special tools, it's a, it's a tough job. I tried for several tries. I'm lucky that I didn't lose the clip. I did eventually get it on there, but it was not fun or easy to get to. I actually kind of wonder if you could use the welder without putting this clip on and it'd be just fine. That pin cannot move forward when the, uh, MIG gun is installed and I don't know if it would move forward and cause there to be too much of a gap between the uh, the wire wheel roller and this uh, tube or not. Just be aware if you're going to switch out this MIG gun liner and put the graphene liner in to go back it's not easy it's it's actually a very difficult procedure to try to get that c-clip back on that pin. So I hope this video helps somebody out if it did don't forget to give me a thumbs up Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video.